Hello, this is Hoopy Guilo at Hoopy Geeks, and I am once again playing uh, Ace Attorney Trilogy, Phoenix Wright, and we'll continue from where we left off. It's actually been quite a while since I played, so I'm not 100% sure where I left off, even though I reread re -read everything. I don't think I went back there, did I? So let's let's go back to Faye and Co. It's funny looking at this room. It seems so normal. How to imagine a murder took place here? Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Let's have a look at the plant. His favorite potty plant. He'll have to water it. That's a hotel right across the way. Telephone, Mia's desk, perfectly clean as always. The only thing that's missing is Mia, we've had this before. Uh, all the cases a chief ever worked on are filed here, they're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look, which file should I look at? Oh. Oh no. Uh, like I say, it's, it's been a, a little while, so... Let's just try an A, right? Let's try anything. A, B, F, Misty Fay. That's Mira Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Let's read it. I've tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Bavin Grosberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So me and you, Grosberg. Didn't we know that already? Oh, okay, let's have a look at the other one. Let's see, J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Skim through. Uh, well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part at the end in S. Suicide. Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. Huh? There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping added to the court record. Oh, can't look at the other ones. See if there's anything in T to Z. T U. I know. W white. <laughs> the entire W section is missing. Was it taken? There we go. That's a bit of a clue. Yeah. I've read this before. I don't get anything new for those. Let's go back. Oh, I could move around the thing. So I don't know. Let's see what Grosberg has to say. I couldn't get through the... Hmm. Oh, I present triangle. I was pressing the wrong button. I press cross. I found this in Mia's files. So she was investing in red white, as I expected. Well, if we wanted to challenge him, we could present this in court. Not a bad idea. I don't think there's anything else. Here. I don't think there's anything else to do there. Um, 
Let's try ask. Apparently Miss May is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Okay, don't think there's any there. Don't think there's anything else, is there? Hmm, the bellboy seems to be out. Huh? The sound of water is coming from the shower. La dee da, making money, making money, I got making money blues. Some seems to be enjoy washing the showers. Ah, so can I take this? The screwdriver's still stuck in the drawer. Better not touch it. I'll tell what the bellboy would do to it. I don't think there's going to be anything else here. <coughs> Excuse me again. Floor offices, beds made. Yeah, okay. There's nothing else. There's nothing else here, I don't think. Been there. Are we going to go back to Blue Car? Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems a message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Ah, oh, not sure about that, okay. I think we're past needing to talk about April, May. I've got to put this guy on the spot and quick. Hmm, what's the matter? You seem distressed. This guy's a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. I've got to put him on the spot and quick. Stop that, your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. Ah, what's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why, yes. There's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. But of course I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humour. I will not think less of you. Okay, so let's present this. I'm not sure I should. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. Hmm. He was embezzling secrets, secret government funds. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. Well, this concerns me how I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia, she had a file filled with articles like this. Oh, she had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labelled with a single word. White. <gasps> Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either, you are threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You are involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. <laughs> Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Beep. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir, I'll try to send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. Wait a second, Mr. Wright. Mr. White. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was onto you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Hmm. Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Beep. Secretary's office. 
We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Right. What you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief. Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And this is a very important witness I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietitude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police, now. Beep. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare, how dare you? I'll point the finger at you, and you'll be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they will make you look, even you look competent. I, I feel faint. Oh, I fainted. Detective uh, Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. I can't remember what voice I use for him. Not that I do much of a voice, but... Ah, but it's hairy butts. Right, actually, Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right, sorry, pal. But that was murder. That was... But was that murderer, right? Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe... I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. Wh what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. September 8th, 3.37pm, Detention Centre, Visitor's Room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh. Maya. Am I not sat on the wrong side? Oh, never mind. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Or maybe not. She's, she's still locked up. Ha, now I'm afraid we've both... Now I'm afraid we've switched places. Ah, but not the background. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. Maya? Maya? I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. And now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Hmm, well... Chew me on in court. <laughs> Help me break out of here. Have you defend me in court? Alright, you can be my defence lawyer tomorrow. Alright. Huh? Leave it to me. I am Mia's sister after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. One of the ghost powers that run in your blood? I bet run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. Huh? W wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. I, it was a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. 
I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Oh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. To be continued. Yeah, let's save there. Uh, I don't know how long that was, but I may just leave that as, as today's uh, video because I know the next the next part will be quite quite lengthy, I would suspect. So um, yeah, it's been a very very short video. I'll just do a very quick check how long it was. Twenty minutes ish. So that was a very short video uh, today. Um, I say I should have rounded it off last time, but uh, I'm filming this. I'm recording this via the um, uh, Share Factory on PlayStation, and it only allows you to have one hour. I could run it through my PC and capture card, but it's quite a good, uh, good little program at at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, I'll leave that there then. I can kind of start afresh on the next one. Or if these have been mysteriously merged together, the next one overran. We'll see anyway. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Jog in and please like, subscribe, etc. Uh, thank you very much. Bye bye.